Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Swerve Gaming here, back with another video for y'all. And today, I want to show y'all the lineup we're rocking with today. It is March, I believe, 26th, Saturday. And this is the team we are rocking with. Um, just want to show you what we got. We've been away for a minute. Got Baus, Orlando Pace, Boss, Hutchinson. We got Jeff Saturday, Richie Incognito, and Mitchell Schwartz. We got Baus, Antonio Gates. And we got Calvin, 89 overall, backing him up at the tight end position. And at quarterback, we got Bows, Michael Bick. At running back, we got Gauntlet, Master, Marshawn Lynch. And let me tell y'all, this card is probably the best budget running back, like, you know, 150K or whatever for your buck. Like, this man is absolutely amazing, at least for me. I know he seemed, I mean, the slow, the 92 speed, I can't tell. The 92 speed seems slow, but when you really get into the game, yeah, you can notice it. But he breaks off a lot of big runs, and he breaks tackles like no other running back I've used this year. And I've used Barry Sanders, Walter Payton, Bo Jackson. The only running backs I really haven't used that are the high overalls are Marcus Allen and CJ2K. But pretty much everyone else I've used in the game, and I can tell you Marshawn Lynch is top three easily for me right now. Still waiting for that boss running back, though. I'm just, I can't believe it hasn't come out yet. But, um, yeah. Also got Todd Gurley, honors card, backing him up. Another great running back. I think he's top 10. It may be top 5. Eh, I don't know. At the fullback, we got Anthony Sherman, being that he has 100 run block, which is amazing for tosses, dives, anything. Like I like my fullback to be able to block, so that's great. At the wide receivers, we got Bows, a Megatron. Waiting for golden ticket Megatron, and we're going to run Bows, Megatron, and GT Megatron, I think. Um, depending on how expensive he is, I mean... Because this card was 4 mil when it came out, so I could see that card going for 5 mil or 4 mil. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be a big, big purchase if we do that. Heinz Ward, Michael Irvin, you know, two good, you know, good legend receivers. Don't really need anybody else. They get the job done. So, let's hop over to the defensive side of things. At the middle linebacker position, we got Ryan Shazier, 94 overall. Team of the week, also 89 Shazier. I'm just keeping him because these two, I feel like, are going to be expensive in the positional hero set. That's why they're in the lineup, and that's why I have them. But this Shazier is a user god, 94 speed, absolutely phenomenal. At right outside linebacker, we got Lawrence Taylor, best right outside linebacker in the game, hands down. I think he's better than Terrell Suggs. That's just my opinion, though. Waiting for his boss card to drop. We got Vaughn Miller, best left outside linebacker in the game. I mean, you could argue 98 Derrick Brooks is better, but 95 speed for this guy and just the stats, the pass rushing, and everything he can do. I mean, he gets interceptions. He gets sat. I mean, he's just absolutely crazy good. That's why I got him. In the secondary, we got free safety, tribute, Charles Woodson, a phenomenal card. Not looking to really get rid of him for a while. But you do see we got boss Sean Taylor at the strong safety being that, you know, I think in real life he was a strong safety, and he plays like a strong safety with 102 hit power, you know, 97 speeds, amazing, 97 tackle, 94 zone. That's a little low. 78, man, that's pretty good for a safety. Um, I think this card is absolutely great. I think he's better than the um, 99 Cam Chancellor that I play with, even though that card is very good, too. That card is also very, very good, so definitely recommend him. You also got Darren Stewart just backing him up. So, At the corner, we got Bows, Rod Woodson, and we got Charles Woodson. I was looking to get that Cromartie, but I think I might hold out for um, to see what comes out as far as golden tickets. Like, a golden ticket, Pat Pete would be cool. Dion, you know, I'll wait. I'm going to wait for those just to see what comes out. The D-line, we got Deacon Jones, Mean Joe Green, Aaron Donald, and Boss Jason Taylor. And that's the squad we're rocking out with, guys. We also got McManus, a kicker, and just some shitty uh, punter. I don't really care. I don't punt the ball that often. But, yeah, that's the squad we're working with. We got 13.1 mil. I'm happy. You know, I could always buy back the team I had, the 99 overall team, so... You know, always it's always lingering in my head. Uh, I was also thinking about getting Boss Gronkowski, but then again, you know, I think about it. Golden tickets. What's going to come out as far as that? Who do I want? I mean, there has been some that they said are confirmed by people that have pulled some. So, let me see. If I can find it, I'll pull it up for y'all. But if I can't, well, well I'm sorry. Um, I'll pull it up on my phone. I'm also going to look at some of the... Uh, prices for our ultimate legends that came out today well, let's just sort it by newest oh i thought that was boss cromartie and i almost flipped man i oh 
I haven't even looked at this guy's stats. Can't be that. I mean, I mean they're great, but they're not, you know, that good compared to the uh, boss card. So as far as golden tickets, these ones were confirmed on Mudhead. So this is what Mudhead is saying. So we got Demarcus Ware, okay, Russell Wilson. That'll be a really good card. Combine Michael Kendricks. That card is going to be the best user card, period. That'll have 97, 98 speed plus, and it will be, oh my God. Johnny Football, Johnny Manziel. I think that guy um, is a subscriber of Tokes and decided to make that for Toke. And that's going to be a good card, a really, really good card. Better than Boss Vic. Yeah, I think so, but, you know, it's whatever. Night Train Lane. Don't know if this will be his corner or a strong safety edition. Hopefully it's a corner because, you know, you want a corner. I want a corner over a strong safety. And that corner guard plays amazing. And plus, you can put him at strong safety. And he'll still be a 99 overall. So, we got Frank Gore. That's a weird decision for a running back. Not really looking forward to that one. We got Calvin Johnson, obviously. We get one of those every year almost. Uh, Trendon Holiday, another strange decision. But, you know, I guess it, it could be a good card. We got Adrian Peterson, which I'm really looking forward to, if that's true. I mean, ugh, oh, my God. He's my favorite running back in the NFL right now. And that will be a definite pickup for me. Then Eli Manning, which, you know, eh, he's not going to be, like, blazing fast or anything. He'll just have phenomenal throwing stats. So those are what's been rumored and confirmed on Mudhead from people that have pulled the golden tickets. So hopefully, I like the list. I mean, it's not bad. I was looking for a Vic, maybe, uh, Bo Jackson or something. But, you know. There's still a lot more. That was like that was like only eight or ten. So there's gonna be a lot of golden tickets coming out. But anyways, that's the video, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will see you in the next one. Peace.